Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and I have a new way to monitor the temperature and humidity inside of our trailer. Inkbird gave me their temperature and humidity smart sensor as well as their gateway. When I get back, we're going to open the boxes. We're going to see what comes with both of these products. We are going to connect them to the app. We're going to run through some of the different settings and the features, and I'm going to go over the specifications. It's been song, it's been song, Cruising to the camps that sing in our song. It's been song, it's been song, we are the Airstream Nerds. Yeah! This is the IBS TH2 Temperature and Humidity Smart Sensor. Now I've already peeled these back a little bit. I haven't opened the box yet. Okay, it comes with a warranty card. manual and these are the technical specifications the app control and this will QR code to download the app and the the directions I'll be visiting those again soon let's see what this looks like so this is the sensor itself doesn't look like there's much going on with it there's a screw on battery door Oh, and it comes with a little screwdriver. I like that. There's no buttons on here, so it must automatically pair with the app. Or let's take this little battery cover off. Maybe there's a button inside of there. Nope, just a battery compartment. So let's open this one up. Okay, this one has a little bit bigger a step-by-step -step on the app. So so this side is using the app. And this side is setting the gateway up. So we'll be doing that in a little while. This device too has a 12 month warranty. Boy, it has a another app or another manual. So the gateway has quite a bit of literature. And the gateway comes with a wall plug and a USB-C power cord. So let's look at the outside of this. There's a button there. I'm sure we'll find out later. It's for pairing, setting it up in mode. There's a reset button on the back. I assume again, we'll find out later that um, if you want to reset your settings and give it away or whatever, that's what you do. USB-C plugs this in. Cord's probably three foot long. Okay, so let's get the app installed. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the 
batteries in the sensor. Use their handy dandy screwdriver to turn the sensor. So here's the sensor. We're going to hit the add sensor. Let's try this again. So it says place a sensor near the phone when pairing. So we'll select indoor sensor. Oh, okay. So it's the app settings, not the sensor settings. So instead of going in the settings on the sensor, which would be here, go into the settings up here, which then allows us to switch it to Fahrenheit and go back. So it's 73 degrees in my camper right now with 34% humidity. Um, let's put this thing in my hand. I'm not sure how oh, you can see the temperature is going up now. I have it inside my hands and the temperature is going up. So let's see what the manual says about this. So historical data is in here. So you can see the historical data. Um, it'll show a graph. Now this, I'm assuming, or right now we're using Bluetooth, not assuming, we're using Bluetooth. So the range to this, obviously inside my camper, I can put this anywhere, set it on the counter or whatever, pull up my app when I'm in here and I can see the temperature in here. But in order for me to check the, check the temperature stuff from a distance, it's going to require um, the gateway. So we already have the gateway open. So we have the gateway open right here. Let me slide this out of the way for a second. So we have the gateway open right here. I'm going to plug it in. All right, so the gateway is now connected to my home network. Um, I installed the app. There's a QR code just like for the other device. The app comes up, has a little bit of information um, based on your location. It tells you what time, what the temperature is outside, the sunrise, the sunset. Um, there is my device. It's connected. I have it assigned to my Airstream. So if you select it and you go into the more button, that's where you can create a location, um, name the device, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now if I also named the sensor Airstream, now this gateway, the reason why you see four of them here is the gateway will support four of them, but you can also see that they're not connected. They have no battery, et cetera. Um, if I select my sensor, I guess you hit the graph here. It pulls up the, the graph just like um, you did it with the other app, but it's a much larger screen on my, my um, iPad here. The cool thing about the, the sensor now being on Gateway is I can now monitor my Airstream from afar. So with this thing in the Airstream at home, I can pop this just right here on the table. I mean, literally I can just leave the stuff right here and I can tell if my Airstream um, one has power, um, which it should because we are connected to um, a hard line in the house, but occasionally the circuits trip or whatever. 
Um, if I pull up this app and the app shows nothing, or if I go back to this screen and it shows offline, chances are I have no power in the camper. So that's a bonus feature. Two, I can then check to make sure that the temperature in my camper is not too cold, not too hot. Um, for, for, you know, remote checking, it really, there really is no reason to know what the temperature is or anything, but it's just kind of a cool idea. Now, on the other hand, I can throw this in the refrigerator or the freezer. Um, it's IPX4 um, rated for waterproof, which basically means you can splash it, but that's about it. So you could throw it in a camp in a, in a cooler, but put it in a, in a waterproof Ziploc or, or one of those phone cases, something like that. It was, it'll still be able to tell the temperature, um, maybe not the humidity, but definitely the temperature um, if it's in a Ziploc. But if you're in a refrigerator or something like that, humidity is not that big a deal. Um, anyway, um, I think the device is kind of cool. Uh, I will definitely be using this. So we do have affiliate links um, that we use. I will be putting a link to these two devices below. I appreciate you using our links if you decide you want to purchase this. We do get a very small commission, which helps um, me continue um, posting videos of, of little devices like this in the future. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe. Um, if any questions or comments, please post them below. Once again, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and I will see you on the next trip.